to Dr. Pharma. Today, in this video, we are going to discuss about captopil. Captopil is a white to off white crystalline powder that may have a slight sulfurous odor. It is soluble in water, methanol, and ethanol, and sparingly soluble in chloroform and ethyl acetate. Captopil is available in potencies of 12.5 mg, 25 mg, 50 mg and 100 mg as a score tablet for oral administration. Black box warning for oral tablet. When pregnancy is detected, discontinue captopil as soon as possible. Drugs that act directly on the renin angiotensin system can cause injury and death to the developing fetus. Mechanism of action The mechanism of action of captopil has not yet been fully elucidated. Its beneficial effects in hypertension and heart failure appear to result primarily from suppression of the renin angiotensin adulterone system. However, there is no consistent correlation between renin levels and response to the drug. Renin, an enzyme synthesized by the kidneys, is released into circulation where it acts on the plasma globulin substrate to produce angiotensin 1. Angiotensin 1 is then converted by angiotensin converting enzyme ACE to angiotensin 2, a potent endogenous vasoconstrictor substance. Angiotensin II also stimulates aldosterone secretion from the adrenal cortex, thereby contributing to the sodium and fluid retention. Captopil prevents the conversion of angiotensin I to angiotensin II by inhibition of angiotensin converting enzyme. It also prevents the breakdown of Badikinin, a potent vasodilator. The net result is vasodilation, a decreased peripheral vascular resistance, decreased blood pressure, increased cardiac output, and a relative increase in renal, cerebral, and coronary blood flow. Pharmacokinetics. After oral administration of therapeutic dosages of captopil, rapid absorption occurs with peak blood levels at about 1 hour. The presence of food in gastrointestinal tracts reduce absorption by about 30 to 40 percent. Captopil therefore should be given one hour before meals. Average minimal absorption is approximately 75 percent and approximately 25 to 30 percent of the circulating drug is bound to the plasma membrane. In a 24 hour period, over 95 percent of absorbed dose is eliminated in urine, 40 to 50 percent is unchanged duct. Pharmacodynamics. Administration of captopil results in reduction of peripheral atrial resistance in hypertensive patient with either no change or an increase in cardiac output. There is an increase in renal blood flow following administration of captopil and glomerular filtration rate is usually unchanged. Reductions of blood pressure are usually maximal 60 to 90 minutes after oral administration of an individual dose of captopil. The duration of effect is dose related. The reduction in blood pressure may be progressive, so the achievement maximal therapeutic effects, several weeks of therapy may be required. FDA labeled indications congestive heart failure usually in combination with diuterix and digitalis diabetic nephropathy patient with type 1 diabetes mellitus and retinopathy hypertension hypertensive crisis left ventricular cardiac dysfunction after myocardial infection Dosage and administration for hypertension. The initial dose of captopil tablets is 25 
milligram that is twice a day or three times a day if satisfactory reduction of blood pressure has not been achieved after one or two weeks the dose may be increased to 50 milligram two times a day or three times a day concomitant sodium restriction may be beneficial when captopril is used alone the dose of captopril in hypertension usually does not exceed 50 mg 3 times a day. Therefore, if blood pressure has not been satisfactorily controlled after 1 or 2 weeks at the stars and the patient is not already receiving a diuteric, a modest dose of theocyte type diuteric, example, hydrochlorothiazide and 25 mg daily should be added. The dietary dose may be increased at one or two week intervals until its highest usual antihypertensive dose is reached. If further blood pressure reduction is required, the dose of captopril may be increased to 100 mg two times a day or three times a day and then if necessary to 150 mg two times a day or three times a day while continuing the diuteric. The usual dose range is 25 to 150 mg two times a day or three times a day. A maximum daily dose of 450 mg captopril should be exceeded. For heart failure, the, for most patients, the usual initial dose, daily dosage is 25 mg uh, three times a day. After a dose of 50 mg three times a day is reached, further increases in dosage should be delayed where possible for at least two weeks to determine if satisfactory response occurs. Most patient studies have had a satisfactory clinical improvement at 50 or 100 mg three times a day. A maximum daily dose of 450 mg of captopril should not be exceeded. For diabetic nephropathy, the recommended dose of captopril for long-term use to treat diabetic nephropathy is 25 mg three times a day. For left ventricular dysfunction after myocardial infarction, the recommended dose for long-term use in patients following a myocardial infarction is a target maintenance dose of 50 mg three times a day. Dosage adjustment in renal impairment because captopril is excreted primarily by kidneys, excretion rates are reduced in patients with impaired renal function. Those patients will take longer to reach study state captopril levels and will reach higher study state levels for a given daily dose than patients with normal renal function. Therefore, these patients may respond to smaller or less frequent doses. Accordingly, for patients with significant renal impairment, initial daily dosage of captopril should be reduced and smaller increments utilized for titration, which should be quite slow, 1 to 2 week ints. Overdosage. Correction of hypotension would be of primary concern. Volume expansion with the intravenous infusion of normal saline is the treatment of choice of restoration of blood pressure. While captopril may be removed from the adult circulation by hemodialysis, there is inadequate data concerning the effectiveness of hemodialysis for removing it from the circulation of neonates or children. Periton peritoneal dialysis is not effective for removing captopril. Adverse effects common cardiovascular, hypotension, dermatologic, rash, endocrine metabolic, hyperkalemia 11%, gastrointestinal disorder of taste, respiratory cough 0.5% to 2%. Serious Dermatologic Stevens Johnson syndrome, gastrointestinal, intestinal angioedema, hematologic agranulocytosis 0.1% to 0.2 percentage, neutrophena 0.1% to 0.2 percent, immunologic anaphylactoid reaction, other 
angioedema 0.1 percent contraindications captopril is contraindicated with the patients in who are hyposensitive to this product or any other angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor example a patient who has experienced angioedema during therapy with any other ace inhibitor major drug interactions concurrent use of aliserin and captopril may result in increased risk of hyperkalemia renal impairment and hypotension administering sacubitril valstarin concomitantly with ace inhibitor is contraindicated because of increased risk of angioedema do not administer sacubitril or valstarin within 36 hours of administering an ace inhibitor Concomitant administration of captopril and digogen may increase digogen plasma concentrations. Digogen serum levels should be measured before in initiating captopril and the dose of digogen should be reduced by approximately 30 to 50%. Concurrent use of allopurinol and captopril may result in hypersensitivity reactions, Stephen Johnson syndrome, skin eruptions. Use caution with a concomitant use of ACE inhibitor and a mTOR inhibitor as this may increase the risk of angio dima concurrent use of potassium sparing diuretics and angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors may result in hyperkalemia concurrent use of captopril and interfer- interferon alpha 2a may result in hematologic abnormalities patient counseling advise patient re- report symptoms of angioedema including intestinal angioedema one female patients to avoid use during pregnancy particularly during the second and third trimesters instruct patients to report symptoms of an infection or a hepatic failure side effects may include rash flushing cough chest pain or palpitations tell patient to take drug one hour before meals recommend patient avoid use of potassium sparing diuretics potassium supplements and potassium containing substitutes thank you do subscribe a channel for more videos